Hello, I'm Sabay Sabaysan. I'm a medical oncologist and clinical dean at the Townsville University Hospital in North Queensland. I've been here for the last 17 years working on telehealth models to improve rural and regional access to cancer care, chemotherapy, and clinical trials. The last five years, fortunately, with the help of uh, COSA, uh, a lot of our clinical friends, industry, trial groups, state governments, we've been able to develop the Australasian teletrial model. So the teletrial model, what it does is it connects smaller sites with larger sites so that some or all aspects of clinical trials can be offered to patients closer to home. In the last uh, couple of years, I've been fortunate enough to co-chair the Australian Teletrial Consortium with John uh, Zalkberg. And what we have shown is that this model not only benefits the rural and regional patients, it's also improved uh, access to clinical trials for rare cancer patients, even with metro settings. So what it means is, is that this model, it connects smaller sites and larger sites and really creates an interconnected and a networks clinical trial system in the country where frontline clinicians can then work with their clinical partners and clinical colleagues uh, and start providing clinical trials um, closer to home. And hopefully with that will improve the overall outcome for our patients uh, who've been looking for these models for, the, for so many years. The MRFF recently uh, has recognized the benefit of this model and has given the Queensland with five other states, ACT and New South Wales, and the Regional Trial uh, Network of Victoria, $125 million to work collectively to create a system that is patient friendly and clinician friendly. So because the state governments and industry trial groups, clinicians are all part of it now, now we have a great opportunity to transform the system. What the state governments need to do is to um, incorporate into their policies and start um, streamlining their regulatory processes so that when there's a patient identified at a satellite site, that patient can get into a trial within one or two weeks. The trial groups and industry can um, incorporate the teletrial model as a recruitment mechanism for all their protocols. And then ultimately, the clinicians start working with their rural and regional colleagues and also metropolitan colleagues and provide clinical trials in a network fashion. So in this panel, we are going to talk about uh, finding efficiency in, efficiencies in clinical trials and teletrials. And the panel is fantastic. They have multiple perspectives. So I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully we will see, the, see you there too to, um, so that we can all share the experiences and start working towards an interconnected clinical trial system in our country.